So before we get into this video, I just wanted to give a final thank you to Razer for sponsoring my channel. It's been really awesome working with them. I know a lot of sponsored messages will praise things needlessly, but I genuinely love the gear that they sent to me. And I've been using all of the products a lot since I got them, and they've easily replaced my old gear. The Razer Viper mouse and the Huntsman Elite keyboard in particular are my favorites. The Viper has been unparalleled in being lightweight, responsive, and just comfortable to use. And the Huntsman Elite keyboard just feels awesome. The key presses are practically zero latency with the opto mechanical switches, and typing using this keyboard is an absolute pleasure. Overall, I am really happy with all of the gear that Razer has sent to me, and I highly recommend you guys check it out by clicking the link in the description. The Mordhau tournament that we did was also a huge amount of fun, and I highly recommend you check it out if you haven't done so already. I definitely like to run more events like this in the future, so let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in. Now, here's a few highlights from the tournament. Make sure you do check out the description for a link to the full video and also for the gear that I used during it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get fucking destroyed. Yo, what's up, my man? Oh. I don't care if I'm a loser. I just wanna shit talk for the meme. <laughs> Come here. You dead! Someone is calling me on the Discord. Oh no. I'm gonna yell at him. No, no! I thought that. <gasps> nah, 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 leave me. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Get out of here! Whoa! <laughs> 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 oh, this has been better. Again, thank you to Razor for sponsoring the channel. And a huge congratulations to the winners of the tournament, who each won themselves a Razor Kraken Ultimate. Without further ado, let's get back to the video. Hi everyone, I'm Wilsonator, and welcome back to Rust. That's right, day two of the wipe is upon us. And uh, here we are, uh, alive, alive and well, on top of our, our mega rock. Uh, so the last time we, we did uh, the old shipping facility, which was pretty cool, we managed to get an AK out of that. Uh, I did a little bit uh, off camera. I uh, built my level two workbench and I've placed that down in there. We don't actually have any BPs for it yet, but uh, I got it. I also uh, built this up a little bit because I did get door camped by a guy. Yeah, I basically built this up and I feel like it's a lot more secure now. We've built it up like a level. I don't think you can spider man up the side of it now like we did before. Um, I don't think it's actually possible now to do it because of this area up here. Like you can maybe get up. Well, I say that, but I just nearly spider man up the whole thing. <laughs> and the way around the side is kind of not possible now. Because uh, I built like a little ledge uh, sticking out from there as well. So, uh, we're going to get started today by heading down to the road and uh, trying to run the road. Try and get a key card. Should have some better luck trying to get it because uh, we are on it in the morning. And the server is really quiet right now. 6 o'clock in the morning. So, uh, things are pretty quiet. It means we can get some shit done, get some BPs together. And then as the server starts getting more populated throughout the day, uh, I'll be ready for it. I'll be ready for it with my what, my guns. We're going to get all the guns today. It's going to be the best. Um, and also try and maybe take the tank. I mean, I doubt we'll take it today. But uh, we did get C4 and explosives, actually. So we could research those and use those to take on the tank. Maybe. Um, or we could try and wait till we get rockets. Rockets are another option. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, oil rigs are not quite... Um, good yet. I think we might be able to do an oil rig with a rad suit now, though. Because uh, the radiation does go down over the first 24 hours. It's been about 12 hours, I think, since the wipe. Uh, I know, I didn't I didn't sleep last night. I have to be honest, I, I don't think I slept at all. So, yeah, this is this is good. Oops, I missed this. This is amazing. Yep, there we go, perfect. See? And we'll kill the scientist, too, and then we'll head up towards the gas station, I think. Alright. Oh, well, that was unfortunate. Ah, he's not that good. He's coming right to me. Yeah. <gasps> no, dude. Oh, no. Oh, man. I'd be so angry. All right, let's climb the dome. Hopefully, there's some stuff here. Uh, if not, the bunker is, like, right next to us. So, uh, we can go there. Seems like all the boxes are gone, though. Which is unfortunate. Alright, let's check if the keycard room is looted or not. Hopefully, it's not. Oh, it is. Well, whatever. Um, let's just go do the bunker then instead. 
I don't think you can get a blue card from the bunker, but um, we can at least get some stuff, hopefully. Has this been looted too? I think it has. Yeah, someone's done this too. Fuck. Yoink. Okay, got a card. So that's all I can really ask for. And I would like to try and get to the point where we can do... Once we get a red card, we could like do the submarine. Oh boy. Let's get the key card first. Oh, this I believe is one of the ones they added. This uh, leak crate here. This isn't. This isn't usually here. This is like a new, a new thing for this map. the The whole point of adding these extra crates is to increase the viability of um, other monuments other than the oil rig. We want to increase the viability of land monuments, so that's kind of the main reason why we've got these. Uh, we got Tommy revolver, a bunch of components, three hundred seventy-five scrap, and a bunch of other shit. So. Uh, I'm kind of happy with this. Let's get this stuff home. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Look, you can place these now. You can place these CCTV cameras. We obviously need power to actually be able to access them, but... Fuck it. That'll do. Um, I think you can... There we go. We have it, like, looking this way. We need to get a computer station before we can access it, but then we'll be able to, like, we'll be able to, like, sit in our base, like, Big Brother, and we'll be able to watch our camera. Alright, to be honest, I'm just gonna roam about and see if I can kill someone with the rev. I wanna I wanna just get some practice in with a gun. Uh cause it's been a little while, you know? Um, so we'll run around, see if we can find someone, see if we can shoot them. Fuck. That would be nice. The server is starting to get a little bit more populated at this point, but uh, it is still pretty quiet, unfortunately. There is a guy farming, look. I'm not going to complain about that. Oh, he was just starting to build a base, man. Poor son of a bitch. Alright, well, well, we'll go back to it. I'm just going to probably run along the road and just get a little bit of action going, because... Uh, you know, most, for the most part today, we've been just running monuments, and, you know, I'd like to mix it up a bit. Why is everyone naked, dude? I want gear. I want gear, dude. I want to I wanna get like that guy we got at the start of the episode, man. <laughs> I want to get more people like that. I'll help him up if he didn't have anything. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah, get some stuff. I just, yeah, I might just run around in launch site and see if we can get any crates. Uh, cause there might be a few things here we can grab. I mean, I'm trying to like spice it up by running around roaming for people, but it's kind of annoying when you don't run into anyone. <laughs> uh, it might be worth just doing monument runs right now, and then later when there's more people on, we'll we'll try and get some PvP. I know people are gonna be like, "Oh, you're playing on a dead server, you son of a bitch." I'm on in the morning. It's not a dead server. It's just early in the morning, so it's quiet. That's just that's how I roll, dude. I, I, I like to get my progress done when I'm not getting shot at by like 50 dudes. You know, I know some of you guys are like sweaty, sweaty chads, but me personally, not so much. I'm not that much of a sweat lord. I'm, as you would call me, I'm a, I'm a role player. I'm just a filthy role player. People always call people role players, but they never tell me what they're role playing as. They just say the word role player and have no idea what it means. This has been looted, dude. Uh, do we need water to do this? Like, or can we just do it with bandages? I think we can just do it with bandages because we don't have any water. I, I am sorry, by the way, if I sound kind of like tired, it's because I'm I'm tired. Um, <laughs> uh, so I do apologize if that comes across. Oh yeah, and just a reminder, actually, to people, because I know people are going to like, why don't you just destroy the SAM sites? Check this out, boys. They don't take damage at all. I might actually go and do the shipping facility properly. We'll kill the scientists and we'll try and do the keycard rooms and try and get... Uh, all of the loot that we can get from there because that's a really really good monument. We got a compound bow so we can try and take these guys out from far away. Got a revolver, two fuses, two cards. I think this is probably a good a good amount of stuff for this. So yeah, let's make our way down to the shipping facility and see if we can do it, man. Howdy, partner. Hello there. Do you have any spare or hazmat? Uh, I do, but I don't live around here. Well. Have a good one. You too, dude. So this puzzle here, like the keycard puzzle here, I don't actually know it. I haven't 
properly done it before. I've like fucked around with it a little bit like when I was editing the map, but I haven't actually done it. Uh, I'm going to be kind of having to figure this out uh, as we go here. Oh, someone's there. I think he's killed those scientists. Yeah, he has. The ones up top are dead. He's not shooting back. It might be one of the ones from underground. Oh. Tommy. I'm climbing up here. There. I'm right there. Oh, wow. That's not good. Yeah, he's in that building. Okay. He's got a bolt. This ain't good. I, should, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I see him. He's right there. He knows where I am now, I think. This guy's probably going to get me. Yeah. Thanks. Can't really charge a shot while he's aiming at me like that, dude. Climbing down. Risky. Don't know if you saw me move. See, he's focused, he's focused. Lucky, fuck you. Fuck you, you fucking son of a bitch. Let's get out of here before he comes back, dude. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> oh, he's gonna come back for revenge, boys. <gasps> oh, shit. I'm, I'm gonna basically run all the way around, I think. Just to avoid it. If he kept back over the bridge. <laughs> oh, man. That was, uh... That was great. <laughs> I think I played that really smart, uh, all things considered. Um, because he could have easily fucked me up, but I, I think I played that very smart. I'm usually a lot dumber than that, so I'm pretty proud of myself for that one, uh, to be honest. Um, <laughs> Alright, uh, I think we're probably going to finish here, man. We've, we've done a bit today. I know there's not been a ton of action, but we had that at the end there, so I think that's a pretty good note to end on. Um, so next time, we'll maybe... Do some more stuff at the shipping facility. I'm not going to go back there just now because he's probably going to be there waiting. And uh, he seems like he's got a lot of guns. I, I probably want to get some more of this stuff researched before we actually want to try and tussle with people like that, like actively. Um, so maybe next time we'll try and do like the submarine or we'll do the launch site or something. And uh, try and, you know, try and just build up our stuff, I guess. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.